Hi, today I'm going to take you through the standard payroll life cycle for a full-time salaried employee. The life cycle that I'm going to take you through today for our employee is going to be a life cycle that her salary and her paychecks are generated from her salary and not through a timesheet. First, let me start by showing you the payroll process. The payroll process is if you have a timesheet, it'll start with the approval of your timesheet. If you do not have a timesheet, it'll just start with the generating of your earnings from your salary. And once your earnings are generated into the earning statement, then that earning statement can be reviewed or edited if it should need to be edited. Your earnings will get released. Your pay statement will then get generated. The pay statement will then get reviewed. And if need be, it'll be edited and then regenerated. We will issue payments to you either by check or ACH or however you choose to get paid. Pay statements will get posted, vendor invoices will be generated, and the pay period will be closed. With CEM Advanced Payroll, you will get end-to-end -end payroll processing for the D365 FNO software. You can pull time from project timesheets or other time and attendance solutions into payroll along with automatic overtime calculations, automated gross-up calculations, and detailed payroll postings, including workers' compensation, projects, and grants. Compensation changes, prerequisite approvals, and sign-offs can be done in bulk. Off-cycle payroll and bonus uploads can be uploaded using a wizard. Leave Management Module manages the setup of various leave policies and the integration of PTO and vacation into the payroll process. Time and attendance, including clock in and clock out information, can be imported into the payroll process. Automatic overtime and double time calculations, as well as expense payments, are done through payroll. Detailed payroll costs can be posted using CEM payroll. So the first example I'm going to show you is a full-time salaried employee who is going to be getting her pay generated directly from her salary. So if we go into our payroll system, we're going to go right into our earning statements. And we are going to look at the earning statement for our employee. And as you can see on this earning statement, it's going to tell you the worker's name, her pay cycle, which for this employee is semi-monthly, the pay period, and the earning statement number. You will have your earning statement lines, which are generated for the week ending with your number of hours and your rate of pay per hour and the amount. This employee also happened to have taken a vacation day. So through her vacation day was accumulated and came in through from the time in attendance or the absence system. And that eight hours automatically gets calculated with an earning code and it goes, her rate is there again and it is calculated for her. And once we have all of this information generated in our earning statement, the pay statement is then created. And if we go to the pay statement, you will now see that it is for the pay period that we're talking about. It'll show you the pay cycle. It'll show you the employee's personnel number, how the, the employee was paid. Again, the full pay period. This was a payment date the batch number that it was paid from, and whether this was a primary payroll role or an additional payroll role. It'll show you again the two lines that our employee had, one for the vacation pay and one for the uh, regular hours. If you click on her benefit deductions, it will show you all the benefit deductions that were taken out for this pay period. It'll show you the benefit contributions that were taken out for this two week pay period. It'll show you the taxes that were taken out for her during this pay period. For, um, she did live in North Carolina. And it'll also show you her tax contributions that were taken out from this pay period. This pay statement will also tell you what payment journal number that this paycheck is coming out of. And it'll also tell you what payment number or check number since she got paid 
be a check that is on her pay statement. I did pre-print out her pay stub for you. And as you can see, this is the representative of your pay stub. It'll show you your hours, your rate, your current amount, and your year-to-date amount. It'll show you all your benefits and deductions, and it'll show all the employer contributions, as well as any benefit <clears throat> accruals that you have for this employee. The employee, the company address is on the pay statement, the employee address is on the pay statement, as well as the check number and the date that the check was issued. And this is the earning statement and the pay statement and the pay cycle for a standard employee.